beard, uh, slim with dark tennis shoes, begging for money. First degree murder. All right. Finally, got an opportunity here to uh, try to install a SDR radio on a Linux device, and the Linux device of choice today is this little Raspberry Pi. See if we can't get a SDR software working on the Raspberry Pi. So the goal is a mobile RTL SDR solution. Let's get started. Okay, first things first, full disclosure. I did not come up with all of this information. I'm just replicating it in video form. The true brains behind all of this is a gentleman by the name of Ken Rannis. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Um, but Ken put together this PDF and it is chock full of RTL SDR Linux goodies. So uh, all the credit goes to Ken and um, check out his website at Rannis, that's spelled R-A-N-O-U-S dot WordPress dot com and I'll leave a link um, to his website in the description of my video. So for those of you who are visual and like things in video form or just don't like to read a whole bunch of stuff, um, I'm going to just take uh, a lot of the stuff from here and a few other sources and I'm going to go ahead and um, include the information in this video. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, update my distribution, which you should do. I actually did this earlier today, so it shouldn't take that long. Also gives me an opportunity to focus. Okay. And the next thing I want to do is do an upgrade. And we're good. Okay. So the install tools uh, needed to retrieve uh, we need to get we need to get git uh, we need to compile with CMake and we need to build so let's get all of those let's clear the screen and let's get us some git and it looks like that's already there let's get us some CMake All right, so I pause that because it took a little while. One more. We need to uh, install the build essentials and we are good. All right, now let's start getting into the, uh, I think it's the USB library, but uh, Dash zero, dash dev. All right, looks like I missed a dash dev. Oh yeah. Our next step is the sudo git clone git, one at the very, very bottom here. change directory into the new RTL SDR and once we get there we're gonna make directory we're gonna make a directory called build up oh, sudo make directory build and now we can CD we can change the directory into build see what's in there there's nothing in there right yet well, now it's time to see make And deny. Damn, I gotta do a pseudo again. Everything's a pseudo. So we're rocking now. 
so really what it's doing here in this step is it's uh, retrieving, building, and compiling the RTL drivers uh, from the source. And it is ready. Now we need to install the drivers. And we're good. Now we're going to copy the RTL SDR rules. Whoa, RTL SDR rules. Now we're going to put them in etc edev rules.d. And that's done. All right. Mod Probe D folder. So we're going to CD Mod Probe D. And now we're in there. We need to add a file. So we're going to call touch. Try it again. Man. sudo touch blacklist rtl.conf. And ls. We're going to list it. Make sure that we've got that file that we just created. Blacklist rtl. And we've got to we've got to add a line to that, so we're going to um, open it. So we're gonna, we're gonna try sudo nano <coughs> blacklist rtl.conf. That'll open it up in nano, and we've got to add a line. dvb underscore usb underscore twenty eight xxu. And in order to save this, we're going to do a control O and then say enter for yes. And then to get out of it, we're going to go X. And then if you want to make sure that you did it right, instead of using nano, use cat just to display it on the screen. And here it says the contents of the file, which is blacklist DVB USB RTL. All right. Now, well, we're getting exciting now. So our next step was to uh, reboot the machine and plug in our RTL dongle. Okay, so the moment of truth. We've plugged in our RTL SDR to our Raspberry Pi and we've rebooted our machine and now it's time to test. Is what you're hoping to get is that it recognized it if you didn't get that go back through the steps very carefully and make sure that you didn't miss any steps otherwise we're ready to move on okay so once you've had a successful test of the uh, RTL SDR dongle uh, as indicated by these numbers here it is time to install some SDR software and I'm gonna be using this GQRX I know I was using SDR Sharp for the Windows version, but then of course that was running off of a big powerful box. This is running off of a Raspberry Pi 2, so I'm going to start with a uh, SDR radio software that was actually meant to run on Linux. So if we pan down here, you'll see that there is uh, one for the Raspberry 2 and one for the Raspberry Pi 3. Make sure that you select the appropriate one for your Raspberry Pi. Mine is a two, so I'm gonna go ahead and select two. And as you can see down here, that looks like I accidentally hit it twice. All right, so it is finished, and of course it's gonna put that in my downloads folder. So I'll navigate to downloads. Let's see, you can use PWD to figure out where you are. And I am in my home directory, so I, if you do ls, ls is for list, it's similar to the dir command in Windows. Uh, but as you can see, I'm one folder away from documents, so I'm going to see, or uh, downloads, so I'm going to cd to downloads. And then I'm going to list, oops, 
looks like I got a little overzealous and uh, hit the button a few times here. But this is the file that I'm after right here. And notice it says 2-2. Two 2-2 -dash -two. Two -dash -two is for Raspberry Pi 2. I believe that's the naming convention. I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And then this is a, a tar file. Um, so we need to extract the tar file. So I'm going to say tar xf and then the name of the file which is pasted here and it's going to think about it for a second now I should find when I ls I should find this folder right here which is new so I'm going to navigate to that folder so I'm going to copy it again and I want to cd to that folder And I'm going to ls again and check it out. I've got some help here with this readme.txt. Uh, so in order to read me, I'm going to do cat. Cat's just the methodology for which to read a document uh, in the terminal. Read me. Whoops, how to spell things right. Readme.txt. Let's see what we got. And we should get some good directions on how to go about doing this. So let's see what it says. First, ensure that your Raspbian is up to date. We did that a little earlier. And now we need to install some dependencies. So I'm just gonna paste, or excuse me, copy. Copy this first one. Go ahead and paste. Okay. Now, if you have these things already on your machine, it won't take long to do. If you do not have them on your machine, it'll take a little bit longer. So I'm going to copy the second one and paste it right here. I believe I have both of those already. If you don't, it'll take a little bit longer. Yeah, it was pretty quick, so I've already got those. All right, everything else is included in the binary package. When you download, you should run the setup script as normal as normal for Pi. All right, so that's easy enough. So I'm gonna run this as Pi, so I'm not gonna put sudo in front of it. So I'm gonna come down here, and paste it. And it says setting up GQRX for user Pi. Go back up. The script copies the blah blah blah, and to start, I just go like this, copy, come back down here, and paste, run, cross your fingers, things are looking good, oh look at this, this is good, this is good. Miller, we do have a warrant on him, going to be in hand station 5, shows theft of electrical current and malicious. Malicious entry to property.